Man, this is some good ice cream. I'll eat your ice cream. Nani. Hey Roxas. Did you hear about the 358 Days Playable HD Remaster with up to 16 times upscaled graphics on one single widescreen instead of two mini screens, modern console controls, and all the KH1.5 HD Remix cutscenes included now? Okay, I believe you. We can even catch co-op two-player missions by opening multiple instances on the same PC. Nani. Now I really wanna play. All files needed for the best way to play your own copy of 358 Days on PC can be downloaded from the GitHub of Vitor251093 who created this custom Melon DS emulator version called 358 Days Melon Mix. Step by step full instructions how to play are written as a setup guide on Melon Mix's GitHub's latest version release page. Nani? Please make a tutorial video explaining how to install everything. I don't remember anything including how to read what the flaming okay i believe you how to play step one download the zip file made for your system in my case i'll download zip file for windows os step two extract the zip file inside a new folder All the next steps will take place inside this folder. Step 4. Go to your own copy of Kingdom Hearts 358 Days on PC. I haven't dumped a physical copy I own onto my PC as an NDS file yet. So I'll just make a placeholder NDS file as an example for this tutorial. Rename your NDS file into being named instead just days. And place it inside the folder you made named ROMs. Optional step to add KH1.5 HD Remix cutscenes during gameplay. Replace the empty assets folder found in the folder on your PC instead with the folder named assets that you can download from the mega download link provided. This step is only required if you want to replace the DS cutscenes with HD cutscenes. Final step for Windows users. Launch Melon Mix underscore KH Days dot bat to play days. Alternatively, we can also simply open Melon Mix dot exe and then go to file, open ROM, and load the NDS file we want to play manually. Let's first configure the gamepad controller by mapping which buttons we want to use for KH gameplay. Optionally maybe you could map the L3 button as being the HUD toggle if you want it. Though the H key on the keyboard could work equally well. Alternatively, the automatic default controller mapping function might set up default controls like this without needing to customize the buttons yourself. As an example of customizing the button mappings to your own preferred playstyle, let's try this unique special, and super effective example. Instead of mapping the R2 button as switch targets when in lock on mode, let's map it as R3 instead. Next let's add the L2 trigger button to also be mapped the same as with the triangle command cycling button. And finally, let's add the R2 trigger button to also be mapped the same as with the main confirm button aka confirmation button. So our custom controller buttons could work like so. Here is a demonstration of the custom L2 and R2 buttons in action. After entering lock on mode with R1 to focus around a targeted enemy, 
while the left thumb holds the left stick in an evasive direction. And the right thumb spams the square button to dodge roll from the enemy indefinitely. Our extra fingers are now freely available for the L2 button to cycle through command menus sequentially. And our other extra finger can hit R2 to confirm the desired command like recovery items. Magic is also a good choice. And this can all be done while both thumbs are busy dodge roll evasion spamming. You can also replace the MP4 cutscene files with different versions but keeping the same name. For example if you wanted to use Japanese voiced versions instead. I'll show you a super special secret version however. This is for players who want to stream 358 days. But who don't want their stream muted by the DMCA theme songs of Utada Hikaru. You can put these opening theme song and ending credits mp4 files provided into the folder named cinematics a few folders within the assets folder. And those movies named the same won't have theme songs or DMCA your stream. Thank you Vitor for making the KH358 Days Melon Mix Custom Melon DS Emulator. Because now, KH fans can finally play the best remastered version of 358 Days ever with the 1.5 HD remix cutscenes during gameplay. Pitiful heartless, mindlessly collecting hearts. The rage of the Keyblade releases those hearts. They gather in darkness, masterless and free, until they weave together to make kingdom hearts. And when that time comes, we can truly, finally exist. Roxas, are you really sure that you don't have a heart? I don't know. I can't just look inside. But I figure if there is something in there, inside us, then we'd feel it, wouldn't we? True enough. <laughs> 